We'll get snuggly. No, they they Snuggles. Okay, so we're here to do a video. We're here to do a video. Wait, we're here to do a video? No. Is that what that is? That's a video camera right there. Oh, wow, okay. That's my new cool video camera. Okay. My new, not, it's sort of professional video camera. We've got a ghetto bag. Yeah. From but Ghetto I mean, Cub. Ghetto. Wait, well, it's probably from Ghetto Cub. It actually. probably is from Ghetto Cub. <laughs> actually, like yeah. <laughs> With questions <laughs> inside about <laughs> Doctor yeah. Who. We're at a convention. Oh, like, what, what are we supposed oh, to do? It's when it's your time to leave the doctor, you're allowed to keep one souvenir of your travels. What would you keep? That for, I have to answer. You have that? to answer that. Oh, Jesus. Can I take the that all depends on where I went. You know what? Is I. Hey, I know hi. this is like taboo. I know it's like the most taboo thing ever. I want the TARDIS key. I want the TARDIS key. You wouldn't give the TARDIS key back? No, I want the TARDIS key. Oh, well, there, I would probably. That's probably what I would I want the TARDIS key. Okay, that works. You keep the TARDIS key, you wouldn't give that back. Nope. Can I, can I take this scarf? Yes. Cool. Which race monster is my favorite? For some reason, uh, ever since the reboot version of them, the Centaurans. See, I thought the old, see, the redesign of the Centaurans kind of bothered me, but at the same time it's cool because The episode like, bothered me. Yeah, 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 but at the, but like their whole like, why did you redesign the whole thing? But at the same time, they're kind of badass. They're super badass, and I really like them. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Centaurans. I like the Ood. The Ood, those are good. I like the Ood. The, the Ood are cool. I do like the Ood. I like the Ood. I like the Ood. When you board the TARDIS for the first time, what would you do first? See what the H is in the back. Yeah. <laughs> like, explore. Because all you see is, the, except for in, in, in Pastor Volvo, yeah, yeah, you can yeah. see him like, wandering. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, all you really see is the console. Yeah. I want to know what's, like, way in the back. Yeah. I want to see that. I want to see that library with the pool. Right? Yeah. Where's that? Where is that? If you could ask the doctor any question and it would be guaranteed that he would tell the truth, what would you ask? What the hell did you do to your people? That's what I would ask. Yeah. Like, I would ask, because we all know that he did something. It's, he did, he did it. He did it. He killed them, and I still think that they're the yes. Leaping Angels. I think they are too, but we'll, but, we'll get there. But that's what I would ask him. I would no. ask him, what did he do that's to his people? That's a valid question. I want to know. I want to yeah. know. Yeah. I would ask what he did to his people. What actually happened? You have to tell me. Yeah. Answer the question. Who is your favorite doctor? Oh, the loaded Sorry. question. <laughs> I always cheat and I always say my favorite yeah. reboot See, and that's then my the thing. favorite Cause old time doctor. I was like, because I got two. So, I don't know old what my favorite old time is. Old time, five. Because I might have like kind of a tiny, itty bitty little crush on Peter Davison. Even though he's like way Fair. older than me. He was hot back then. Was hot. Um, new doctor, Everyone's nine. nine. All the way. Yeah. No question. No doubts. We're definitely on the same boat there. Obviously, uh, Tom Baker for, for old and uh, nine. 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 Nine's hot. <laughs> if you were a companion, what would your room on the TARDIS look like? See, this is where I want to see the rest of the TARDIS. First of all, I'm going to pick out the best room. I'm going to have the nicest one. I don't care if that's like that's the doctor's room. No, it's mine now, for one. You're the guest. You get to choose. Right? I get to choose. For two, like, it's super cute. Because, you know, like, everything else on the TARDIS, like, the TARDIS is great, but it's really, like, tech techie industrial. No, I'm going to have, like, super cute stuff. Like, they'd be like, we're gonna need to go get like super cute like print fabrics, and I'm gonna have like curtains. There probably aren't windows, but I'm put like fake windows and you curtains put fake up. Windows in there. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like little curtains. I'll probably have like. That's gonna be a fire. I'll probably hazard. have. Start to start on fire. I, my room would burn first. Yeah, I'd probably have the canopy bed thing just like to be super cute. I'd have to have a super cute room on the TARDIS just to cute it up a little. I can imagine that was Amy's room. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As you can yeah. tell, she she likes Amy Pond. I like probably. Amy. Yeah. Oh, who is my favorite companion? That's a tough one. That's that's tough. Um, can I go by gender and yeah. pick multiple? Yes. yes okay, you can. my favorite female would probably have to be still Rose. Um, I've got this weird fixation with that with that storyline. Um, but male, I, I'm either gonna go with Harry, or I'm gonna go with Rory. Cause I like me some Rory. Rory. I like me some Rory. Okay, so it's Amy and Rory all the way. I can't even. There's no doubt. Yeah. That's I. I've never loved a fictional television character as much. That was not an animal. As much as I love Amy and Rory. Okay. Okay. Not awkward at all. It's not. No. Which episode? Which episode is my favorite? Oh. That's a tough one. Uh, I well, no. For me, it's pretty easy. I know. For me, I it's know. easy. I know. I know. It's hard for me. Because anything with Jack in it is pretty fantastic. 
I love Jack Harkness. I love Jack Harkness. I love Jack Harkness. I want to marry Jack Harkness. I would, yeah. Except for he's gay. Except well, well, the actor is gay. But Jack, Jack Harkness is, is bi. Yeah, you could marry Jack Harkness. I could marry yeah. Jack. Um. You know what? Let's kill Hitler. That is a good episode. That's a good episode. That's a good episode. Or the Vincent Van Gogh one. Oh, 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 yeah. Nope. Oh. Yep. My heart did things during that episode. My heart did things during that episode, too. But but the girl who waited, oh. Oh, that's a good one. That's an Amy Rory episode, so yep. right in my heart. Right and there. that was, like, very primarily Amy. Mm -hmm. and, and you got that to see some of Karen's really good acting. Like, dagger in my heart yeah. right there, that episode. Oof. Which Doctor Who may, moment made me cry the most? Okay. Um, spoiler alert. Okay, there are there are three moments that made me cry super duper hard in Doctor Who. One was when Rose was pulled into the parallel universe. Two was when Donna realized that she was gonna that, that the doctor was gonna have to erase her memory. That, that was she sad. couldn't. I didn't be even like Donna and that was sad. Well you like Doctor Donna though. Yeah. Um and then Oh, uh, Angels Take Manhattan. Fucking Angels Take Manhattan. That, that Angels my... Take Manhattan. All right, here's, I'll tell you guys. I, mm. I, this is not an exaggeration. I started crying before the end of the episode. I'm not going to give away too much. There was this rooftop thing, so if you've seen that, that's when I started crying. I stopped crying approximately 25 minutes after the episode ended. And I think it took me about 20 minutes it to stop It just crying. kept going. There was, like, full-out sobbing tears and, like, screaming sobs of, of upset in that episode. So thanks for that, Stephen Moffat. We don't hate you <laughs> for multiple reasons. Which race slash monster is my least favorite? Uh, another text. Um, <laughs> That's your least favorite? No, I don't. the The Daleks do nothing for me. Like I'm say, completely ambivalent about the Daleks. Like, see, like for me, as a kid, they were scary. But now, as an adult, I'm like they're a, they're they're, they're tin lame. Cans. You know what I? You know what I? I've never seen the like scary appeal of Cybermen. Whatever. Okay, Cybermen. Cybermen. Yeah, I've never got the appeal of the Cybermen either. And have you seen like old Cybermen? Yeah, they're awful. They're horrible. They're awful. They're horrible. So I'm like, yeah, okay, Cybermen, yay. It's not like I don't like them. I just I feel nothing towards Cybermen. Yeah. Like, oh god, another Cyberman episode. Mm. Oh, this is the one that I was ta that I kind of mentioned. Oh. Uh, what do you think would be behind your door at the hotel in the God Complex? Because what that, if I remember correctly, it's it's your biggest it's your fear. Your biggest fear. A room with nothing in it and just complete silence. I am deathly afraid of yeah. silence and you know, I'm deathly afraid of of feeling like I'm trapped. It's not claustrophobia. No, 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 per just se. right. It's just the feeling of like nothing. I don't. Yeah, I I dislike that too. Actually, I just I can't. I, if I'm home by myself, I have to like have the TV on in the background or something because I just can't have like no talking in my house. It drives me crazy. I oh, watch. That's why the TV is on in my right. house all the time because I just I need can't... to have. I just need to have something else talking at me. Yeah. I have a completely irrational, enormous fear of psycho stalkers. So, you know, serial killer, creepy stalker, probably that. As Nate is waving, Nate's waving at his... me in the background with yeah. a grin on his He's face. A creepy stalker. Awesome! He's a <laughs> Speaking creepy... of my creepy stalker, mm -hmm. what would you do first if you could travel with the doctor? Where would you go? Renaissance. Renaissance? Oregon Trail. I don't know why I've always had this weird fixation with the Oregon Trail. Oregon Trail. I've always had a weird fixation. Renaissance, because I here's the thing. I um I went to Renfest and I had um I had like you know Ren garb on, but my hair looks like this, so I you know look like Amy. Um and I was like, oh my gosh, they should do an Amy goes to the Renaissance episode. It should have this costume, so I can be like, what? I'm Amy goes to the Renaissance. <laughs> Which relationship, canon or not, is your favorite? Rose and the Doctor. <laughs> End of story. Well, Amy Rory, I that's my relationship, so it's always gonna be my favorite. Yeah. I got I picked mine right If Captain Jack began flirting with you, how would you react? Oh I'd flirt back. That man's gorgeous. <laughs> I would just jump him. Straight, right? Straight like out. you want this? Alright, let's go. Yeah. Alright, here we go, it Jack. It doesn't matter that you're married. Yeah. I think Brian would understand. Mm -hmm. Here we go, Jack Harkness. <laughs> Would I rather go on adventures with the Doctor River or Captain River Song or Jack Captain Jack Harkness? Well, obviously the Doctor because he can travel through space and time, while Jack still could. But at least with Jack, I'd have uh, 
a chance for some extra fun that I wouldn't Torchwood. necessarily have with the doctor. Torchwood's awesome, though. It's, Torchwood is awesome. I really want to go to the Torchwood office and, like, just be like, let's go get some aliens, you guys. All I know is I don't want to go anywhere with River. No. I mean... I love Alex Kingston, but I'm right, not yeah, but a fan River, of River. I'm not a fan of River. I'm not yeah, a fan no, of River but fan. like I just think tor like working with Torchwood for a day would be the greatest thing ever. Oh, Who's my favorite villain? Oh, we talked about this yesterday. I still don't know. I really do think it's the master. I think he's just got that level of like so psychotic. I've planned this out, creepy. That it it, it appeals to my fear of psycho stalker like serial killers a lot. Like the master, I'm just like, you've put way too much thought into this. And yet, I know you're just acting like you're just this crazy whatever dude, but yeah. You know what's you know what you're doing. You know what's up. Yeah. And I'm about to contradict myself cuz I said I really feel nothing for the Daleks. However, their creator, Davros. Oh. Davros is my favorite villain because he is just so mad. Yeah. It's so great. What would be my reaction upon meeting the doctor? I would probably go, finally! Right. Do I know I'm he's going. the doctor when I meet him? Or is it just like a dude that I meet? Well, I, I'm, supposing, I'm, ass I'm assuming that this is going to be him saying, hello, I'm the doctor. Oh, okay. Well, then I'm going to be like, can I go on a ride in your TARDIS, right? Right? Or that would be the first reaction, wouldn't it? That would yeah. be the main reaction. Oh, so hi, the so. doctor. Can I ride in your TARDIS? That's not a euphemism. Although it might be, depending on which doctor it was. Yeah, pretty much. Who's my favorite non-companion character? Ooh, see this? It's... It's tricky. There's gray area here. Um, I'm assuming anybody who either didn't travel in the TARDIS or didn't travel much. So, like, Jackie would be considered a non-companion. Yeah, yeah. You know, I like Mickey, but I don't know if we count him. He counts as a companion. That's what I'm saying. Because yeah. I love him. But Can at the we, same time, he's all he's around not, all the time. Yeah. yeah. See, uh, I'm, like, trying to think of significant people who are not in the TARDIS. Was the Brigadier ever in the TARDIS? Like, did he ever actually go? You know, he didn't. And I like the Brigadier. Yeah. But I don't think he ever did go in the TARDIS. I don't, I don't, I don't remember think, him ever I being in the TARDIS. I don't think... I think he was just part of Unit. Yeah, yeah. I, I love... And I love Unit. Yeah. A lot. So, I... Yeah. That's gotta be it, because he's... I like that character a lot, but yeah, I don't think he ever was in the TARDIS. Yeah. All right, so... Fair enough. We'll go with that. That's anyway, the answer. That's the answer. So if you guys want to answer those questions, I'll put them in the, in the, in the little thing below. Yeah. And, uh, th and th this is fun. Thank you for being fun. In, thanks for being in the video. I was excited to be in the video. Yeah, I'm honored to be in your video. Yeah, well, we have another video that we're going to be doing tomorrow. We do have another video that we're going to be doing tomorrow. About a top secret project. Top secret. Big top secret project that nobody knows about except for if you've been in this video room at all this weekend. Nathan is apparently, shaking his head. So apparently, even if you've been in the video room at all this weekend, you, you don't know yeah. what top secret project Okay. Anyway, so I gotta cool. go do a thing. Yeah, I'm gonna so. go with you. All right, bye. My name is Scott. I was vlogging before I had internet.